cried over the issue of light high level spiritual illumination the opening of a man's eyes to know the ways of god i've taught you here every koinonia service is a feast of light god opening our eyes it takes light to turn night to day it does not just take time it takes light you can be in a dark stadium and then on all the lights and the lights can come with a coordinated effort and turn that night in that stadium to look like day that people can play a football match in the night and yet when you are viewing you think it is day because of the level of light that is there everybody say light most believers are ignorant of the promises of god most believers are ignorant of the principles of the kingdom it is the reason why many people cannot manifest bible faith question what do you know that god has said concerning your finances what do you know that god has said concerning your excelling in life what do you know that god has said concerning victory over demons over principalities and powers your faith must be based on what god said question do you know what he has said and do you know all he has said because he did not just say one thing alone i have taught you here when satan came to jesus the reply of jesus was it is written it is written man shall not live by bread it is written it is written it is written even when he was manifesting his purpose and destiny lo i come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do thy will there are things that have been written concerning you do you know them can i tell you this it was not apostle paul that wrote them it was not peter that wrote them it was not the minor and the major prophets that wrote them holy men wrote as they were inspired it was the holy ghost speaking through the mouth and the hands of men i know what he has said that i shall be the head and not the tail i believe it that i will be above and not beneath i believe it listen make up your mind to be childlike when it comes to the issue of faith there is no big manism with faith many times the things of faith look very elementary so many people in a, in an attempt to show maturity they ignore these things to their peril it is this childlike approach that has produced giants of faith when you listen to fathers like papa copeland teaching on faith sometimes is so elementary it looks like they're just it's like it's like a kindergarten kind of thing yet you look at the results they have defended their understanding of faith for decades and they are still doing it are we learning everybody say light this year you must make up your mind make up your mind that your eyes and your ears will remain gates that will be flooded with light so that your destiny will be able to command results when you know little you cannot do much with little this is a kingdom that is knowledge dependent this is the kingdom that is knowledge dependent dear people of god go and find out let me tell you this there is a kind of knowledge that you need how to know what you don't know you have to learn how to know what you do not know how to find out what you do not know don't wait for knowledge to come and meet you search for it my finances is not working and you can take a day or two listen to me in prayer and fasting maybe you're a man of god and ministry is struggling financially deal with it so that it does not distract you in the future you don't want to have to manipulate people because of financial pressures 
open down my eyes that I may behold wondrous things from out of thy law Lord I want to walk in integrity as a minister open my eyes to sort this area once and for all and light from heaven you will see something you have been looking at but was not seen and when you stand on the strength of that light he said right prosperously because of truth when you find truth they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh i look at my life today and with all humility i thank god for the time and the attention i gave to certain things i am grateful to jesus for granting me that attentiveness ministry today would have been a disaster if these keys were not found let me charge you therefore some of you may need to minimize running around and sit down it is time to feast on light light with proof are we together you're a man of god and it looks like the supernatural manifestation of the hand of god is not seen in your life no miracles no signs and wonders you can stay with the word i remember a time in my life i had my my phone had there's there's this um audio all the words of jesus only the words of jesus the words of jesus alone not any other word everything jesus said in the bible they compress it in an mp3 i would listen to it and sleep and wake up and listen to it and sleep and wake up and listen i want to hear what jesus is saying he must talk to me everything in the gospels down to revelation it will repeat i will put it on auto repeat and I'm, i don't know if he's a, 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 a an advice medically i'm just telling you what i did i slept and woke up and slept and woke up and slept and woke up until my spirit knew that something was happening there you must invest in knowledge you must invest in knowledge please go and buy books don't wait for knowledge to come and meet you go to koinonia global there are all kinds of teachings listen to them don't assume don't assume that you know and don't listen once i submit to you i'm standing and i'm speaking to the whole world i would not stand here and tell lies there are there are materials audio materials that i have listened to single-handedly I know you may think it's exaggeration but i've listened to them nothing less than five to eight thousand times one message i put it on auto repeat like that and it keeps counting the goal is not just to be aware of what is being said the goal is to transport it into my spirit the alternative to this pathway is to go and look for power somewhere and it backfires back on you but if this is how you want to take god's way god is not a magician he's a miracle worker this is the labor dimension of faith that most people do not want these scriptures that i'm quoting is not just coming from heaven thank god for his grace but there was something in my mind for the holy ghost to work with yes it's god speaking through me but he's using my brain and my mind too to speak are we together there are believers today tell me one scripture you know concerning your protection nothing tell me one scripture you know concerning your victory nothing tell me one scripture you know that tells you your home is secured nothing tell me one scripture you know nothing i just know god is faithful we know general statements like that God is faithful. He can't fail me. I know. Tell me one scripture you know that guarantees that ministry will not fail for you. Tell me one scripture you know that guarantees that God will use you greatly. As I'm saying it now, just do the rehearsal in your mind. Many of you will find out that in truth, there is almost nothing. No. I found your word and I did eat it. It was a joy and I rejoice into my soul. Is God challenging us? Go and get Bible on tape. Go and get Bible on um, MP3. Get all kinds of things. Listen to it. Put a flash behind your television that has scripture playing. Listen to it. 
instead of listening to something that is luciferian and is destroying your life the remaining small faiths that you had died as soon as you listened to it i'm not saying don't disconnect with your world no but invest in your spirit you are going far and can i tell you the days that we live in it is men who have faith that will survive these days believe me you cannot use another man's faith the same way you cannot use another man's light to drive he can help you temporarily but you will need your own headlamp to drive two what is the second key to producing bible faith meditation meditation first timothy chapter 4 please from verse 15 to 16 let's hurry up so we can pray first timothy 4 15 read with me please koinonia is projected ready one to read meditate upon these things uh-huh give yourself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear to all meditate on these things meditate on these things do you know what it means to meditate to meditate means to ponder until understanding is established to meditate does not just mean to look uh -uh. the goal of meditation is to produce understanding knowledge gives you awareness meditation gives you understanding or comprehension now you understand the working knowledge of that principle behind what you have read most believers don't meditate unfortunately did you know that most of the world religions encourage meditation even though they have the way they do it but people sit down and meditate until their bodies they are what they call it now their spirits leave their bodies believers don't meditate how in the world are you going to study a scripture when you are running to go and get some food in the kitchen and you're just your bible is on your hand and you quickly come back and you just say i finished it at least i finished one chapter now you look for one three verse or four verse chapter in psalms and just read it and just breeze it over and contained in it is the power to set you free let me tell you the power of meditation all the disciples came to check for the resurrected jesus and they did not see him in a hurry they ran back yet he was there but a woman came and she looked at the tomb it was empty and she refused to go she stood at the garden there and she kept looking she kept looking looking at the tomb all of a sudden she saw two angels and he said this jesus began to talk to her it took staying there to see the disciples came and they just looked and ran back but the woman stayed there stayed there until she saw meditation means to stay till you see god i've listened to many messages about finances i've listened to many messages about spiritual power about the gifts of the spirit but there has to be something i do not understand open my eyes now the spirit of god can refer you to a message that you will listen to that will buttress on that point at the end of it you say this is it by the next time you go for a meeting it will be as if you put a charm in your pocket there will be such manifestation of the power of god because you have found it someone prophesy i will find it in the name of jesus the mystery that connects your today and your tomorrow you will find it in meditation as you are meditating give the holy spirit a chance to show you things that can change your life give the holy spirit a chance to show you things that can turn your life around i listen to my own teachings myself i don't say i'm the one who preached it i listen to it this message now i'm going back to listen to it no matter how tired i discipline myself to listen because in it i will hear something that came from him through me most believers are lazy meditation is a labor dimension of faith you will take out time and sit down and think the psalmist will usually say sila sila means stop and ponder and think i've taught you here that there are times you can listen to a message of one hour for six hours because you are stopping after five minutes what did he just say and you have to look for another scripture 
and look at it and repeat again until your spirit hears something i pray for someone as you begin to meditate may you hear what others did not hear may you see what others did not see in the name of jesus christ are we together number three are you ready now the third step to manifesting bible faith is the power of prayer prayer mark eleven twenty four. you cannot divorce bible faith with prayer mark eleven twenty four. therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire when ye pray not if you pray when ye pray believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them prayer you've studied the word you've understood it and many times you see prayer is like salt you are never you don't you don't really pray too early or too late any part of the faith equation you can water it down just like salt if you cook with a salty water the food will not go bad just because it's a salty water if you forget to add salt at the end of the cooking you can still put the salt prayer is like that so from the beginning of your study you can start praying even while meditating you can start praying and then you can allocate a proper time for prayer let me tell you how to pray this kind of prayer you see when you are praying the kind of prayer that produces faith you have to pray in line with the area or the issue where you are trusting god to see results in are we together yes aside from praying in tongues you can now pray in the name of jesus i decree and declare this grace for favor is coming upon me i'm studying favor i know that i need it i found out the necessity for favor in my life i've studied it i've studied materials and you are praying your mind is on the idea of prayer while favor while you are praying believers don't pray or we pray amiss you can pray i spent one month it was even in february i remember i don't know what year and i can't remember i wrote it down i spent one month studying on favor because i found out that ministry is hard without favor if the favor of god is not on you you would do ministry as if god did not call you you will suffer financially you will suffer emotionally nothing will happen in your life and you may think it is not an issue except that you wouldn't know when you begin to compromise in ways that will surprise you because of financial pressure so i knew that if i did not get the favor of god it would be risky i studied i studied read materials every scripture that talks about favor in the bible as far as we know I read it and meditated upon it studied the lives of specific people according to the scripture that says follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise studied the lives of people who I saw the favor of God walking the day that grace landed I knew it had arrived I welcomed it it was a triumphant entry into my life and I shut the gate you are not going out again now that you are in here and when it comes he speaks he speaks you think you just like me just like that no <laughs> i just felt embarrassed over what i said but it's true <laughs> you don't just like people like that my dear people there is a grace so if everybody hates you in your office before they sack you go and get teachings on favor remember what i taught you about territorial dominion evil will continue when you leave it when you see signs of hatred it's already that favor is not there don't sit down and be hoping that they will sack which one is easier to lend favor or pray that the manager will be sacked let the principles of favor and stay there what if the the person who hates you is the owner of the company when a man's ways pleases the lord he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him please don't downplay what you are learning today 
the favor of god upon your life all of a sudden you come to a place and you you see that god himself begins to open doors for you your life becomes an expression of the mercy and the grace of god and people will come to meet you and say how come this is happening you will tell them it's the grace of god but you will explain to them too that i can show you there is a way there is a way the favor of god can come upon a man many of us here i need of that grace for favor it is clear everybody say prayer so we're exploring the keys to bible faith number one knowledge light number two meditation number three prayer please invest time praying you're not going to have strong faith without a rich and a robust prayer life but ye beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith praying in the holy ghost take out time to pray use your night if god grants you that grace most people are busy in the day except if you dedicate the day for a retreat use your night and pray while you are praying every unbelief is giving way and now you can trust god number four are you ready the fourth key to releasing bible faith is word-based confession word-based confessions psalm 107 and verse 2 let's hurry up please psalm 107 and verse 2 let the redeemed of the lord say so let the prosperous of the lord say so let the lifted of the lord say so the first instruction is say the second instruction is don't say what you want say what he said say so means repeat as you have heard homologio confess repeat as you have heard let the redeemed of the lord say i am redeemed let the blessed of the lord say i am blessed let the lifted of the lord say i am lifted so you don't just talk your words become a bible-based confession if it is in line with what god has said i am the head and not the tail i am above and not beneath exalted by the spirit of god according to deuteronomy 28 1 and 2 are we together now you have to believe this by the power of the spirit that in the name of jesus no divination and enchantment i don't know about you but about me no divination surely they shall gather but because their gathering is not of the lord they will scatter as soon as they gather you are in ministry you better know this because i tell you sincerely it is only god when we get to heaven that you will see the amount of divinations and enchantments daily over your life i say humorously that it's only when we get to heaven that we'll know what part of the food we ate that was designed to kill us and that's the one you you probably enjoyed May no evil come near your dwelling. In one minute while you are seated, I want you to open your mouth and begin to declare everything you know the word says about you. Don't think this is a childish act in the spirit. Speak. I am the head and in the name of Jesus, I'm not the tail. Above and not beneath. Gentiles come to my light. Kings to the brightness of my rising. In the name of Jesus Christ, I grow in wisdom. I grow in stature. I grow in favor with God and with man. I spend my life serving the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the fullness of my days I fulfill. A thousand shall fall by my side. Someone speak. Ten thousand by my right side. None shall hurt me. With my eyes will I see and behold the reward of the wicked. Pray. Oh death, where is your sting? Oh great, where is your victory? In the name of Jesus Christ, 
immune from the scorching thumbs of men. I go from glory to glory, grace to grace. In the name of Jesus, I am like a well-watered garden planted in the house of God. Therefore, I flourish in the courts of our God. Even in old age, I am fat and flourishing. Someone prophesy. Blessed is the man that feared the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. His seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. Speak over your body. I walk in health. In the name of Jesus Christ, longevity is my portion. Hallelujah. Can I tell you this? Listen, listen, please. Listen. One of the assignments of the spirit of depression is to bring you to a point of silence where you no longer can speak. The only thing that comes out of your mouth is <sighs> Nigeria. That's not a word based confession. When you wake up in the morning while you are stretching, that should be your speaking. This is the day that the Lord has made. When you are leaving your house in the morning, 